Hey there, Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. Today I am going to be doing my very first birdhouse and I'm so excited. I will admit I've seen something similar to this on Pinterest and this is going to be my version and uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this birdhouse out of an old tea kettle. Okay, so the supplies you're going to need are obviously um, a tea kettle and I found this one here at Goodwill. Um, the lid was missing. It was filthy dirty. Um, you of course want to make sure it's clean just because you want it to be clean but also because the adhesive that you're going to be using will not stick to dirt or it could you know come apart um, after a little bit of use so make sure whatever it is is nice and clean and then I'm going to be attaching my teapot to just a scrap piece of wood this is actually pallet wood you'll need two hooks for hanging with, along with the screws a screwdriver and my most favorite adhesive the silicone 100% um, silicone clear adhesive. Okay, so to get started, <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is make sure that whatever wood you're using, you've sanded and primed. If you're going to do any kind of painting on it, you'll want to do that before you start gluing your teapot to it. And then you'll want to hang your, um, attach your hooks that you're going to hang it with. I like these ones because you can um, attach it right to the edge, and then you're not trying to look for these little hooks behind um, the piece of wood. So I'm going to just go ahead and get these attached. <clears throat> now if you wanted to, you could, you know, finish this piece of wood and put some cute little saying on it like home tweet home or something totally kitschy like that. Um, for the purposes of this video though, I just want to show you um, how to make the basic birdhouse. So there's the two hooks attached. All right. And then, I can't believe how ridiculously easy this is, but you're going to take your silicone, take your teapot, and yes, I did clean that. I scrubbed that with SOS. Um, go ahead and run a bead of glue along the edge. You want to make sure you don't have any openings in your glue so water doesn't go in there and get stuck. But you don't have to go too crazy with it. It's a good, a good sealant. All right, and then at the bottom, I still might go back and paint this. I don't know. We'll see, but anything to make life, life difficult. Attach this to your wood, fine center. And you can really put this anywhere you want. I like the idea of having the um, teapot spout hanging off the edge. All right, and then you're going to set that aside and let it cure for three hours, and then we'll come back and take a look at it. Okay, so we're all done. Um, I finished, I did take some marker pens. They're, they're actually paint in a pen. These ones are Elmer's. Um, I don't use them that often, but I'm not much for freehanding letters. So I just wrote home tweet home, um, colored it in, in white paint, and then um, used some sandpaper, some fine grit sandpaper, just to distress it a little bit so it doesn't look brand new against the aged look of the palette wood. And I took everything and I put a couple coats of this uh, Minwax fast drying polyurethane and now all that's left to do is to hang it and There she is all hung up. I have her um, mixed in around some grapevine We don't ever come back here. The grapes aren't very good So we leave them to the animals and it's a nice quiet place for a birdie to raise a family So we'll just get a little bit closer so you can see that You can see the drain way down at the bottom. It's kind of hidden by all the leaves, but that's okay. It's just supposed to be functional, not fashionable. But there she is. I hope you make one or two and hang them out in the yard for your birds. It may not be spring, but there are still babies being had. So have at it, guys. Have fun.